Hi, my name is Sarah Thomas. I'm a dentist working in general practice in Carnarvon. Initially, we were put into an Amber Alert, which meant that we were only allowed to do checkups once a COVID-19 risk assessment had been completed at the reception desk. The risk assessment consisted of questions about travel, uh, symptoms and contact with confirmed cases. During the Amber Alert, we were allowed to do one aerosol generating procedure a session. And that is your fillings, your cleaning polishes, your root canals. However, it had to be at the end of a session so that um, adequate time was given for airborne particles to settle and the surgery environment aired. Now we're in a red alert. This means that all non-essential patient contact is stopped. We're open remotely to give patients advice over the phone um, and if required and if the COVID-19 risk assessment is clear, both for the patient and any member of their household, um, we can perform simple extractions or dressings if necessary. Um, again, no drilling, no filling, nothing like that. Um, however, any complex treatment, anything that we can't do here, um, has to be referred on to urgent dental centres uh, for triage. If they pass the triage system, then um, treatment might be offered there. Um, they only see, I think, three patients per session to give adequate time for aerosols to settle again, and both the dentist and the nurse will be wearing full PPE. Moving on, it's difficult to see how dentistry can move safely through this until we have a, a safe and effective uh, vaccine. We anticipate moving back into the ambulance before too long now. Um, it might be that the full range of our services can't be offered um, or that patients will have to take a COVID test before entering surgery, but they will come at a cost, obviously, and who, who then pays for it? I mean, will patients prioritise their dental care because of the associated risks and costs? Uh, it might be that all practices should install air conditioning units so that everyone must wear full PPE. It really is difficult to predict. For us as a dental profession, it's really frustrating not to be able to offer our usual services to our patients. However, this is a global pandemic um, and public health must come first. Stay safe everyone and uh, remember to brush your teeth.